but I feel empowered. I draw strength from a team of 33 women that work alongside me. Women like Panmo Dorji or Panmo Dadi, as she's fondly called. Panmo Dadi is our star manager. Socks and infant clothes are her speciality. Always ready with a warm skirt style and an encouraging word, Panmo Dadi is the youngest member of our group. She is 62 years old young and has opened her own bank account with her own paycheck at this age. Mother of two children, grandmother of four, she is financially independent now. I draw strength from women like Seema, who is our star crochet expert. Complex and challenging designs are her forte. Or Romina, who is our in-house tailor. She is not only an expert at crochet, but also responsible for stitching our packaging bags and attaching zippers and linings to bag pouches that we make. Women like Sonu, Sunita, Rima, Amra, Gita, and many more. All these women have found their identity and financial strength from the Moon Folk Project. So even though I started out alone on this journey, today I am no longer alone. It all started in 2010 when I quit my corporate job to start a small social enterprise called the Tala Canada. The vision was to co-create products with traditional artisans and weavers and give them a global audience. However, mass-produced, cheap imitations made it a tough task. And we finally decided to close our online store by 2015. As you know, this story did not end there. It took a year of great introspection and revisiting goals for me to take a leap of faith. It was a little leap as well, with a current caravan and me shifting to the mountains. I had always loved the mountains, and this was where the Tala Caravan was going to be reborn. In 2016, I moved to Nagar, a heritage village in the Kulu Valley, with the intention of working with a new community, primarily women. Women in the mountains have long hard days, a typical day for them starts with milking their cows, cleaning the shed, feeding the animals, washing clothes, cooking, cleaning house, and of course she has to find time to cut, gather and carry large bundles of grass back home to feed the animals. Looking after young children plus these multiple household responsibilities have left hardly any livelihood options for most women. Founding the Wood Folk Project under the Tala Caravan, I was hoping to provide these women with an option to work, to have an income, along with managing their homes. The idea was to upskill the village women, to provide end to end support to them without changing their culture and lifestyle. The women are given the raw materials and designs for a product along with a delivery date. They have the freedom to work from home or come into the workshop and work alongside other women. However, if they choose to come in, we then encourage our women to bring along their young children. Women in the mountains have always with it. It comes naturally to them. What does not come naturally is creating products and designs that might appeal to the urban and global markets. 
or being consistent in their quality and eating their land. It was a rough start where the women learned to take criticism, to understand that the woolies that they had always knitted might not find a larger audience, a larger market. We had to make them understand that they would need to reach work if there was an issue with its quality and measurements. All of which, in a small community, naturally led to a certain amount of unhappiness and larger amounts of problems. Some left us midway in our journey, while others decided to stay on as they were willing to relearn. I am grateful to the online community that has always shown great faith in the color caravan and continued with their support for the Wool Folk project. Friends and well-wishers started placing their initial orders and a community grew to include stores and larger orders. However, this was when we were just making sweaters and wooden essentials that catered to the winter months. As the market grew, we realized that this was a very short window period for sales. Women in our village in the meanwhile were starting to come on board. They liked the independence that earning their own money was providing them. The worry was on finding ways of keeping them employed and motivated after winters were over. And a crochet sock toys were the happy result of that search. Nandu, Joey, Bobo, Gungun, Lalu, Bholu, Golu, Champa, Gogo, and many more. We now have a range that is no longer seasonal or dependent on a two month window for sales. Quality check is one of the most critical components of our work. Our designs and their inherent consistency in finishing and sizes have been short repeat orders. With a women understanding its importance as well, my process of final quality check has become a lot easier. Orders in print as with the need to scale up and employ more women. And the mentoring program seemed the obvious solution. With the senior members from our group taking in newer members under their wing, not just to teach them the skill, but also help them understand and learn the importance of commitment, deadlines, quality, and teamwork. In September 2016, the Woodfolk project started with just three women. Today, two and a half years later, we work with 33 women and one man. We do hand knitting, hand crochet, hand spinning, hand weaving, and have recently introduced hand embroidery as well. Having started out with just wool, Today, we also work with cotton and jute yarns to make a variety of products. From a mere 30 40 pieces, today our team can crochet and finish about 150 pieces in a month. Last summer, we conducted a 10 day hand embroidery training for some of our women, and this summer, we will be conducting a natural dyeing training program with an expert for some of our women. The women are excited and eager to learn new skills. From being upset at the quality check being done with their work, I believe our group has, our women have come a long way. And in the midst of all of this, we are also excited. We upcycle fabric scrap, cut run, and unraveled yarns from old unwearable sweaters by hand weaving them into fabric 
to create products like bags, clothes, drugs, pouches. Not all 33 women come into the workshop every day. However, we encourage them to come and drink daily because it not only gives them a little break from their household, household responsibilities, but also allows them to meet, laugh, share and bond together. Daily meetings at a time when they are done with their household responsibilities allows us to check progress and quality of their work. This is, this is also the time when we pack and dispatch your orders. A responsibility once taken on by just one woman, today shouldered by many others. Learning, growing, accepting challenges. When we started working together two and a half years back, just one or two women in our group had their independent bank accounts. They either did not have bank accounts, or their bank accounts were dead, or they had joint accounts where their husbands were the primary account holder. All of them wanted us to pay them in cash. We persuaded our men to open their independent bank accounts, make them understand that their hard work, hard earned money needs to go into their account because it gives them the freedom and the power to spend the money as they see fit. The fancy mobile phone that Santa has bought from her own hard-earned money is a matter of both pride and joy. Savings that have helped Sita repay a part of the loan taken for her daughter's wedding or for Seema to repair her house. I love what we have created with these women. Empowering working with women, empowering them, <coughs> making them financially independent is a high that is difficult to describe. But was it easy? No. Was it smooth? Not at all. Will I do it all over again? Yes, most definitely. I'll leave you with these photographs of the first party at the Home Home Project. For the first time in the history of our village, the women came out to party on their own in our restaurant. The women danced and sang with their abandonment. It was their space, their sisterhood, their community. Thank you.